Carl Shapiro. Carl J. Shapiro, November 10, 1913, May 14, 2000, was an American poet. He was appointed the fifth poet laureate consultant in poetry to the Library of Congress in 1946. Biography Carl Shapiro was born and initially raised in Baltimore, Maryland. After spending much of his childhood and adolescence in Chicago, Illinois, the family returned to Baltimore where he completed his secondary education at Baltimore City College. He briefly attended the University of Virginia during the 1932-1933 academic year and immortalized it in a scathing poem called University, which noted that to hurt the Negro and avoid the Jew is the curriculum. His first volume of poetry was published by a family friend at the behest of his uncle in 1935. After continuing his studies at the Peabody Institute, where he majored in piano performance, he attended Johns Hopkins University on a scholarship from 1937 to 1939. In 1940, he enrolled in a library science school associated with Baltimore's Enoch Pratt Free Library, where he was also employed. Shapiro wrote poetry in the Pacific Theater while he served there as a United States Army Company clerk during World War Roman II. Throughout the conflict, he engaged in near-daily correspondence with his fiancée and first wife, Evalyn Katz M. 1945-1967, who moved to New York City to act as his literary agent in 1942. In this capacity, Katz facilitated the publication of much of his early oeuvre. His collection Be Letter and Other Poems, written while Shapiro was stationed in New Guinea, was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1945, while Shapiro was still in the military. From 1946 to 1947, he served as consultant in poetry to the Library of Congress, succeeding Louise Bogan. This position was reclassified by Congress in 1985 as the Poet Laureate Consultant in Poetry to the Library of Congress. Poems from his earlier books display a mastery of formal verse with a modern sensibility that viewed such topics as automobiles, houseflies, and drug stores as worthy of attention. In 1963, the poet-slash-critic Randall Jarrell praised Shapiro's work, Carl Shapiro's poems, a fresh and young and rash and live, their hard, clear outlines, their flat, bold colors create a world like that of a knowing and skillful neo-primitive painting, without any of the confusion or profundity of atmosphere, of aerial perspective. The poet early perfected a style, derived from Auden but decidedly individual, which he has not developed in later life, but has temporarily replaced with the clear rilk-like rhetoric of his Adam and Eve poems, the frankly Whitmanesque convolutions of his latest work. His best poem poems like The Leg Waitress, Cyros, Going to School, Cadillac have a real precision, a memorable exactness of realization, yet they plainly come out of life's raw hubbub, out of the disgraceful foundations, the exciting and disgraceful surfaces of existence. In his later work, he repudiated the apostle influence of Ezra Pound, whom he voted against in the inaugural Bollingen Prize deliberations in 1949, citing the poet's antisemitism and T.S. Eliot, drawing instead upon the stylistic innovations of the Beat Generation and its progenitors, including Walt Whitman, D.H. Lawrence, However, Maurice Dickstein would later opine that his maverick role seemed strictly literary vis-a-vis -vis the alternative lifestyles of such 60s culture, who rose as Norman Mailer and Allen Ginsberg. Nevertheless, this immersion led to experimentation with more open forms, beginning with the bourgeois poet 1964 and continuing with white-haired lover 1968. His interest in formal verse and prosody led to his writing multiple books on the subject, including the long poem Essay on Rhyme, 1945, a bibliography of modern prosody, 1948, and a prosody handbook with Robert Beam, 1965, reissued 2006. His selected poems appeared in 1968. Shapiro also published one novel, Edsel, 1971, and a two-volume memoir, 1988-1990. 
Although he never completed his undergraduate degree, Shapiro returned to Johns Hopkins as an associate professor of writing from 1947 to 1950. Based again in Chicago, he served as the full-time editor of poetry from 1950 to 1956. During this period, he served as a visiting professor at the University of California, Berkeley 1955-1956, and as a visiting fellow at Indiana University 1956-1957. Thereafter, he returned to academia in earnest, serving as a professor of English and editor of Prairie Schooner at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln for a decade 1956-1966. After briefly joining the faculty of the University of Illinois Chicago from 1966 to 1968, he moved to the University of California, Davis, where he became Professor Emeritus of English in 1985. His other works include Person, Place and Thing 1942, the libretto to Hugo Weisgall's opera The Tenor 1950, with Ernst Lert to Abolish Children 1968, and The Old Horse Fly 1993. Shapiro also received the 1969 Bollingen Prize, sharing the award with John Berriman. Death and Legacy By 1984, Shapiro began to divide his time between California and an apartment in the Manhattan Valley section of the Upper West Side of Manhattan, where he initially spent at least half the year. He became a full-time resident of New York in 1994. In 1985, Richard Tillinghast of the New York Times Book Review asserted that Shapiro had become more a name than a presence, and he obtained a settlement from the American Medical Association after the organization mistakenly included him in a list of writers who had committed suicide. As early as 1978, Shapiro had been erroneously characterized as a late U.S. poet in a New York Times crossword puzzle clue. He died at a New York City hospice, aged 86, on May 14, 2000. Survivors included his third wife, Sophie Wilkins M., 1985, more recent editions of his work include The Wild Card, Selected Poems Early and Late 1998, and the John Updike edited Selected Poems 2003. His last work, Coda, Last Poems, 2008, was recently published in a volume organized posthumously by editor Robert Phillips. The poems divided into three sections according to Love Poems to Wilkins, Poems Concerning Roses, and other various poems, were discovered in the drawers of Shapiro's desk by his wife two years after his death. Awards Jeanette S. Davis Prize and Levinson Prize, both from Poetry, 1942. Contemporary Poetry Prize, 1943. American Academy of Arts and Letters Grant, 1944. Guggenheim Fellowships, 1944, 1953. Pulitzer Prize for Poetry. 1945, Shelley Memorial Prize, 1946, Consultant in Poetry to the Library of Congress, 1946-1947, Indiana University School of Letters Fellowship, 1956-1957, Eunice Tychens Memorial Prize, 1961, Oscar Blumenthal Prize, Poetry, 1963, Follingen Prize, 1969, Robert Kirsch Award, Los Angeles Times, 1989. Charity Randall Citation, 1990. Fellow in American Letters, Library of Congress, 1989-1990.